Today I'm going to cover a SQL Server myth. Now I call it a myth not because there is an actual mythology behind it, but more of a misnomer of what you're getting in terms of performance encounters. So here I've set up a SQL Server with a number of performance encounters running both on the virtual machine and the physical host that's running it. To keep in mind, this is a machine that already has several SSDs and the virtual machines themselves are running off those SSDs. So we're looking at sub millisecond latencies on average. Now we're going to do a performance test, aka run some insert operations and see how the physical hardware responds versus the virtual hardware and what is shown within SQL in relation to those IO operations. Now, the reason I say that this is something of a, a test here is because I know that the outcome of this is always going to be dependent on a couple of counters. Um, one of them, which we see at the bottom here, is the weights. You'll see that there are no weights currently for disk IO, and above we see an average latency for the actual millisecond responses. So we're going to kick off our insert operation. We should generate some disk IO. So we're going to quickly flip over and see how our virtual machine is doing. You can see that there's just a little bit of disk activity but nothing major. On our physical host you can see that we have a 32.6 jumping up and down millisecond response. But again this is expected with random read writes and nothing particularly scary here from my point of view. The thing that we're looking for primarily is the consistency that it doesn't go up or down constantly to those numbers. And we can also see our Windows system performance counters which as you can see don't really get above the 6 milliseconds if you actually look at the counter numbers which is very good numbers all things considered. Now our insert operation is completed. We can do a quick check and show where we had some activity and whether the spikes were up to a whole six milliseconds and then I can do a refresh and you can see here the values. Now at no point did we reach a weight type that is related to disk IO. So from this point of view, the disk is not the bottleneck. And we can also see that we dropped the table. So we can do another rerun just to confirm, go check the counters, see that nothing has changed. And as we can see, there is no big uh, performance bottleneck anywhere in this system based on disk IO. So the question is, which counter should I be trusting? Which counter should I be looking at, given that they all seem to give you different results? Well, the answer is the logical disk read-write that you get in the performance counter from Windows. This is the one that Microsoft measures against when they talk about average disk latency read-writes. And you'll see that a lot in their white papers. So even the performance counters that SQL gives you are not always accurate to the benchmark and measurements that they're giving you in order to check whether you have a disk read-write issue. So keep that in mind whilst you're doing your performance testing.